um, my grandmother uh, taught my uh, sister and I Spanish. Um, well, she taught us the fundamentals of the alphabet and pronunciation. Um, the cook and the gardener really taught us to speak Spanish, <laughs> as I'm sure most of you are aware. That's similar. Um, and interestingly enough, um, I've grown up uh, to uh, marry a, a woman whose family is from Chihuahua and from Jalisco. <laughs> and uh, my sons have traveled in Latin, in Mexico. My elder son's been all over Latin America, and I work periodically uh, for the Treasury on assignment uh, throughout Latin America. And so the, the legacy of attachment to Latin America continues all the way down uh, the generations. I want to share with you one other very brief story um, passed to me by my mother that I think also says something very important about the relationship of the, the larger Cassad family to the Hispanic community uh, in New Mexico. Um, uh, Jesse's son, Hinman, had uh, a couple of children, one of whom was Jerry Pat, my mother's cousin, favorite cousin, who was a lawyer here in New Mexico for many years. Jerry Pat uh, died suddenly when I was uh, probably in my teens, I would guess. Um, and my mother was very upset, but uh, she told me that um, after he had died, um, and he, Jerry had served clients uh, of all kinds, uh, low-income clients, many of them, uh, Hispanic families uh, here in New Mexico. And um, when he died, going through his estate, it was discovered that he owned a, what was described to me as a barn. Uh, and they went out to, you know, look at the barn. Nobody had ever been in there. Um, but they had to settle this estate. They went out and opened up the barn. And it was filled to the rafters with every kind of farm equipment, household goods, uh, all kinds of things that were the possessions of poor Mexican families. Um, and that was how they paid their legal bills. Um, and Jerry kept all this stuff. Uh, never sold any of it. And that was what they, that was the, the barn they found. But he had served those people throughout his career. And that was the legacy they'd left.